You have to move out of your chair and... Uh, Catherine she, is welcome to no, see No, she's not. It's not. No, don't do it. Trust me, don't do this. Don't, do it. don't even say for the queen. You We're can't. Do an don't say for the queen. For the queen! No, don't say that, please. Russell, Russell. You're beautiful. Russell, please. Oh, thank you. Should I just sit here? Sure. Please I'll just be here. Russell, look away. With my sexual charisma. All right, there you go. Catherine, please sit here. Oh, welcome. my gosh, this is all too much you for look, just the first look. 30 seconds. <laughs> wow. Any truth to the, um to the rumor that you're going to be in the next parts of the Caribbean movie. Can you tell us? Can you give us a weekend sunrise scoop? I'll give you a weekend sunrise <laughs> scoop, young lady. I'm going to scoop you like you've never been scooped before. I'm going to scoop you up in my arms and carry you off to a world of wonder where you forget your own name, but I won't forget it. It's Sam, the gorgeous moon, morning sunrise Sunday sexy woman for teenage boys. It's such a beautiful chapter at the end to the, written about your betrothed. And, oh, it, it was honestly, you brought a tear to my eye because beneath the, you know... Fifi, if I cannot summon moisture in you, I'm not doing my job properly. That's all I've ever wanted as a writer. Don't say Ronnie. nothing you can't finish, Russell. <laughs> so, I, I assure you, this is an area in which I'm confident. I am not bluffing. <laughs> I will take care of you. I will make you see multicolored. I'll make you forget your own name. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> Wait, yes. you said clean from drugs and alcohol. What about sex addiction? Yeah, what about that? Shagger of the year. Now listen, you'll have me stripped to my title and I'll have you stripped to your tights. Of course, like, you know, fake stirs and stuff. You know, funny, the accent, you know, when I see him in person, it's totally fine. Forgetting Sarah Marshall or the TV show, it's fine. But on satellite radio in the car, I can't understand a single joke you, you say. You can't understand no. it. Can you I understand can't. me? Yes, but no, I'm telling you, when I'm driving in the car and he's, no. everyone's laughing in the audience of the radio, I'm like, I have no idea what he's saying. It's best you focus on your driving, Brian. <laughs> You're a man, you don't want to be distracted by humor. You might crash into right, a pedestrian. Okay. So it's a good thing. I think it's probably for the best. I think I'm just... My, this is my first um, brand experience. Brand, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's not listening to him. It's ex it's experience. It's just sort of taking it all in. You are talking about me as if I'm, I'm not here and as if I'm an extraterrestrial. <laughs> you know, I'm from a country well, that's kind of near to you. Window dummy. We're just sort of admiring the whole. You know, it's the whole thing. Isn't well, it? thank you for it's your like casual objectification. It's an experience. <laughs> I'm glad it's that experience. it's positive for it's you. It's very positive, right. absolutely. Any more? Any other questions? Kathy? <laughs> a little nervous. You've become nervous. I am. Why are you nervous? Really? No, I'm You're good. a powerful woman. You've oh, got a lovely yes. job. What seems to be the trouble? I don't know. You've got hair like Princess Diana. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I've never when seen her. No, I, here's a, wasn't being a, this, here, here's a little away. subtext. Yes. I'm petrified of her. And you, you have her on yeah. her heels. And she's just moved down the I other end of the table. I absolutely love this. Keep, keep, keep Willie, what's going. The, okay. What seems to be the trouble, love? No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, we're now we're going to do a bit of therapy. I'm Would good. you do therapy with Willie Brandt? With who? Willie Brandt. Would you do therapy with him? Um, I don't think. Because that's where he's heading. Okay. I'm all right. Yeah. You shouldn't say he when a person is present. You should refer to the person by the name. That's basic good manners. That is where Willie is yeah. heading. Who is Willie? I don't know. Okay, Russell Brand. This is this what you all do for a living? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. but I'm, I'm here to... <laughs> okay, well, let me help you. I'm here to Russell. promote a tour called Messiah Complex. It's okay. here for the people of America. I want the people of America to come and see me do stand-up. Go to russellbrand.tv where you can uh, purchase tickets to see me. These people, I'm sure, are typically very, very good at their job. What is it? You, you're conveying news to the people of America. Yes. People of America, you're, we're going to be okay. Everything's all right. These are your trusted... Anchors. Like Russell. He's called Revolution Whoopi, right? Because that Albert Einstein, who, if nothing else, was clever, said you can't change a system using the thinking that created it. That means if you want to change things, you have to look at alternative ways of thinking. The way things are at the moment, the people that uh, benefit from it don't want it to change. They are happy with it the way it is. Uh -huh. That's why things like ecological disaster, economic inequality, global meltdown and war are largely ignored because they are serving the purpose of the people that are in control. If you want change to come, it will not come from them. And Russ hanging out with the... I didn't meet Jim Harbaugh the first Russell. day. Yes. Are you thinking about something? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I was thinking about something. Because, as you know, I've announced it. I find Catherine very attractive. <laughs> then when she said exchange numbers, I thought things that I'd like to exchange with her. <laughs> <laughs> numbers! Just numbers. Just numbers. Just fan of numbers. He likes numbers. He's out of numbers. Thing. And genes. He's number. All right, no, you can't. Genetic right. info. <laughs> data. <laughs> what is happening right yeah, now? Yeah, Genetic yes. info. Yeah, that's all right. It's, uh, don't, don't this worry. is awesome. No, don't worry about it. It's fun. Um, no. <laughs> Who is it you're having sex with? <laughs> well, I'm having sex with lots of people.
Good on you, lad. If it's got a face, got fuck a face. it in the face. Man, Josh, you're a face fucker. <laughs> Josh, face fucker. <laughs> face fucker, Josh. Like, I'll fuck Tony the Tiger. I'll fuck any. I'll like that bloke on the Cheerio box. I'll fuck him in the face. Exactly. When you're fucking all. someone in the I face, Russell. check him whether they've got a moustache or a lot of lipstick I don't on. Mind. I I'll, don't do mind. I'll do you in the face. I'll do you in the face. <laughs> You're getting it in the face. Is it the nose, the eye, the mouth? The it's ears? always the ears. It's always the ears. It's tighter that way, Russell. It's tighter. <laughs> and there's the lubricant of the wax. <laughs> Do you um uh, oh, you've thrown me, but Don't I love worry. it. I love that you, you're throwing me. If you're ever so confused, Fifi Box, pop yourself down <laughs> on my knee and see if we can't get you pregnant. <laughs> Because we're talking about sex and shag, and you play you look nice. Thank you so much, Russell. I appreciate it. I like these sort of gladiator high heeled shoes you're wearing, and I like your legs. Now, I understand you've been celibate for a while. When are you going to give that up? <laughs> you have? Because underneath the long dress, it's like there's like the raddest like G string. Raddest like, G strings. The yeah. garters and the the fishnets. Is that, what's going on under here now? Oh, oh I've listen, got some you like just, you want to know. Just, you yeah. want to know. Muck, nothing. Filth nothing. Is absolutely going on. filthy. Oh my god. She wasn't even wearing underwear yesterday. Jesus, what's I wrong didn't with pack you, Carmen? Any. <laughs> I'm quite a big fan. And here is a letter that I want to give to you. <laughs> Ah, oh, give it to Cuddle. And I've also got a question. Oh, she also um, has a question. Yeah. Oh, no, no, don't feed it. No, no, don't. Dear Russell, <laughs> I'm not accustomed to it's acts of exhibitionism. It's quite personal. <laughs> <laughs> But on this instance, I'm only joking. Yeah, I'm yeah. only joking. <laughs> Put some shoes on your nut. <laughs> you say we need to choose our idols, or our idols will be chosen for us. Oh yeah, that was a good slogan, wasn't it? Like the, you know, like <laughs> the stuff get, uh, like we end up worshiping things inadvertently and accidentally. It end up caring too much about, you know, iPod, iPad, I want, I want, I want, and forgetting <laughs> what's uh, really important. Me. <laughs> <laughs> going to be famous, right? That's what I read in the book, that you knew you were going to be famous, right. but you were afraid that it was going to have a traumatic effect. Is that, am I misquoting? What I think it was, is I was an only child, I was an insecure little fella, and I thought that if I didn't become famous, there was no way that I was going to feel any sense of connection or happiness. I was mm -hmm. a nervous little lad. I'm very grateful that I did become famous, because otherwise I don't think I'd have ever had the confidence to talk to anyone, let alone someone with dimples like those, for God's sake, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Uh, she seems quite keen, I think, she Barbara. Does, she does. <laughs> You've got all dressed up. You've got me worked up. Now, come on. <laughs> I was good, you know, okay, um... <laughs> this is really... Uh, Thank you. It's nice of you to do that. No, I'm glad you did it, actually, because during that... You're wearing suspenders. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> I'm out of the <laughs> yes, I have been in other films, but it doesn't seem so important now that I know Lorraine Kelly's a slut. <laughs> Come on, Again, what do you want to know? Got, there's everything I want to know. I want to know. Do you want to come over there to you? No, no, it's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at that noise. Mmm, beasley box. Dan, dan, dan. Come on. Oh, oh my God, excuse me. Oh, yeah. wow, okay. Everything's you, okay, isn't you, you, it? Yes, you're very You create handsome. a lot of heat. I know, because you're quite handsome. Quite and you're looking, in, aren't I? You're very good looking and you're engaged and I'm aware of that. And she's a beautiful she's woman. She's lovely, isn't she? She's gorgeous. This is all right, though. I'm allowed to sit on people's laps. Are you? Can I put my hands there? Yeah, oh, that's allowed as well. Come in here. Yeah, it's all oh, okay. Oh, it's all going to be all all right. <laughs> just, I'm just releasing the spores. There you go. <laughs> Fifi Box is pregnant now. Oh, well. Oh, and mm -hmm. oh. Voted. Shagger of the year. <laughs> yes, one of my proudest accolades. <laughs> Back in my country, Britain, the country of Shakespeare and Milton, is that I am the shagger of some years. Give it up, yeah. guys. I mean, I, that can't be easy. That means you. you're doing the shagging. 
You have to do the shagging, Rosie. To be the shag, yeah. but not the shaggy. No. I don't know. I mean, I think as long as you're involved in the shag... I mean, to be honest, the adjudication <laughs> process is quite loose. No one was looking. <laughs> <laughs> no one turned up during the shag and said, well, that looks technically inept. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't... Really, but, but it's not just about the shag, right? right? I mean, you're looking for love, I hear. I think everyone ultimately is looking for love. In yeah. fact, whatever it is we might think that we're looking for, perhaps behind it is love. We might think that we want our football team to win. We might think that we want a new pair of sexy trainers. We might think, in fact, that we want to snog you in spite of your political views. But behind... <laughs> <laughs> all of that, behind all of those yeah. desires, really is a yearning for connection and love. Yes. Probably, is there? I don't there know. Is. I just want to work it out. Yeah, I think probably you're right. It? It's probably that. Yeah. Fifi Box. <laughs> <laughs> when you laugh like that, it makes me know what you'd sound like when you come. <laughs> and I like it. Is this morning telly? Yeah. So you can't put that in. About 7 a.m. So people just. Hey, viewers, <laughs> that's what Fifi sounds like when she comes. Enjoy your breakfast, you perverts. I can tell, I can tell, sorry. We managed to get tickets uh, for the Super Bowl. Fun. And I, when I say we, I mean my husband. Yeah, but you, you know, look at the way you drop the jets. You could drop that guy any day. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, no! Russell, no! <laughs> Russell, absolutely. Stop dancing. Change. No, no, turn and face the change. Ch -ch -ch changes. He's unbelievable. I'm only joking. You must I... never destroy a marriage unless you're really bored. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay. you, Russell. Um, um, yes. Yeah, so anyway, I didn't know you're married. I'm gonna <laughs> now. <Listen>. Oh. <laughs> Russell, this is not. Take I've care. Got to get a plane. Russell Brown, everybody. There See you go. Take care. Good luck, you're married. <laughs> With Joy and Elizabeth. Yes, and I came here. You were, very, you were kind enough to contribute and do a scene for that movie. Well, it was very, very enjoyable. You're an in, uh, incredibly professional group of women, and I feel a combination of relaxed and aroused in your company. <laughs> you know, effervescent, enthusiastic, lot yeah. of energy infusing people around you with yeah, your she's very effortless charisma. Inspiring. Yeah, she's charming, isn't she? Yeah. I've fallen yes. in love with her a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Which little bit? That's going to encourage it. Mostly my cock. That's a joke. What are you going to say? If you was on telly in my country when I was a teenage boy, it messed me up. In what way? Yeah, I think you're gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Russell. It's very kind of you. Um, you ain't kind. It's just a bit rude. <laughs> I've been a, I played a waiter. Someone for any number of reasons you won't forget. Liz, that's your fault. Because you took your eye off the road, because things was getting a bit fruity out there. All right, Liz, <laughs> we goodbye. We were. Yeah, thank you. Well, it's been really a one foot thing. <laughs> See you later, Liz. Russell. All right, take care. <laughs> Russell. How can I do your bra? Just like this. <laughs> Liz, I love you. There's so many baubles and scarves, there's necklaces, there's oh, chest hair. It's a landscape. There's, it's a land. What's going on on your landscape? It's chaotic. Landscape? A little bit of sunburn. <laughs> Look at him go! Look at them nipples! <laughs> they could lactate any moment. <laughs> Give us a little nipple. Oh, look at that. It's right there. Josh! A little bit of... Little bit of go around with your yeah. boobs out! <laughs> you have a take on voting that is uh, a little bit different, which is you don't think people should do it. Every election in American history has been won by the party that has the most money to campaign with. Every single election. That means don't bother to have the election. Just ask which one of you two's got the most money. The person puts their hand up, go, you could be in charge then. Because that is what happens anyway. Right. But then... <laughs> that is what happens anyway. It's true. People Sometimes uh, people are stigmatised because of something like homelessness, but I know loads of people that are homelessness and they're exactly the same as me, except them, for a roof. And you talk to them, and yeah. you don't have any of that sort of barrier that I think other people... Some people step over them. You write a lot about how you, you don't do that. I think it's uh, important to try to acknowledge that we are ultimately unified by our common humanity, uh, not divided by... <laughs> That's nice. Although it doesn't always work out well, I once gave a homeless man a phone and said, stay in touch with me and report back to me, so I remain grateful for having a home and everything, and he sent me a photograph of his genitals. <laughs> I hate what... Come out of your box! 
Yes. <laughs> she used to want to drink of water. The last one was, yeah, yeah. Actually, you can do that to this laptop. This That's piece of shit's yours. been bothering me for a while. Give Josh a new laptop. He's sick of yes. it. Free Thank Josh. you. Thank We're you. tipping water on our computer. <laughs> and that's because of you, NSA. Yeah, try reading my emails now, Read that Obama. email. You better speak water, because we've <laughs> H2O'd our info. <laughs> that, that's a bloody computer virus, that is, Josh. Yeah, it's the, it's the old, it's the old oh. H2O virus. So how are these changes going to happen without voting, without violence? Well, the only reason I disagree with voting is because, for me, my, the political system in my country, there are two parties, but both the parties are really similar to one another, and it seems that they're more interested in representing big business than the ordinary people of my country. I wonder if it's the same here. It is very similar. It is, yeah. it is, but you know, I think in this country when people hear you say that, you know, they get nervous because people of color fought so hard for the right to vote. Yes, and women fought very hard to vote. Yes. And the reason, but reason people fought so hard to vote is because they wanted their views represented. They wanted to be free. Now we've ended up with a government that doesn't represent us in a lot of countries. Your own Thomas Jefferson said every generation should have a revolution, and I think we need one now. You know, when your country was ruled by an economic elite that taxed you without representing you, you kicked them out. It was us, the English. Right. And now you're in a similar situation where an economic elite who doesn't represent you is not interested in your views values or your views what only wants to represent rich elites and corporations they say you similarly have this situation only now it's not divided by an ocean only an ocean of money a green sea of inequality <laughs> Thomas and, Jefferson, and, uh, uh, expressed in one day once in Dublin nine it was an evening it was crazy there what a mental night it was I felt exhausted the next day if you're having sex with someone that person and you're a man that person's got to have an orgasm first I spoke to a woman recently ten different blokes in one evening you mustn't spray around too much oh my god she's beautiful in a public bathroom but it was for a television program it just happened to be in a bathroom because I couldn't find another gay man to do it in a, you know it's just we need someone who was gonna let us film them for heaven's sake yeah. Russell and I are gonna go backstage and we're gonna lactate each other Go you're married. Watching, you're watching half first Get married what do you I saw you pressed in an interview I know you got a little cross and I did I get cross with me <laughs> but I, I, just I, didn't, wanna, you thought, I, I don't think you got cross at all I thought it was brilliant well, These and, and, it's, and it's had 11 million <laughs> views 11 million views his interview with Paxson over in um, in I England. thought you got a little cross and testy when pressed to get. I think you have an opportunity to get specific. I think you have an opportunity to ask yeah. people to do something, and you, and you haven't gotten specific. Oh, I, ha I have actually. That's what this I read book the whole is. book. I read the whole thing. Yes, you know, yes, it is. Organize your own workplaces. Organize the places where you live. If you're unhappy with the amount of money you're paying for your rent or your mortgage, ask other people if they feel similar to you. Organize. You won't be represented but don't at vote. a political Orga level. But don't vote. Well, unless a party emerges that says, "Hello, we're here for ordinary American people. We're not going to accept money from lobbyists in Washington. We're not going to." represent big corporations, pharmaceuticals, Monsanto. We're interested in representing you, ordinary people. If a party like that comes into being, by God, vote for them. But there is not a party like that in America. There's not a party like that in the United Kingdom. And the reason is because we live under tyranny. Well, no, there was a party. There was a party. It was um, Ralph Nader. Ralph Nader in our country did represent those values. And what had happened was is that the people didn't come out to support him. And a lot of times here in America, we vote against our own why do we do that? It's almost like the media feeds us narratives where we oppress immigrants, people that are vulnerable, people with disability, people that are different colours from the majority of the population. These people are constantly blamed for social problems. I'm a recovering drug addict. We are constantly c criminalised and persecuted and imprisoned. And in a way, it's like people are always looking for scapegoats, people to condemn and blame, instead of, if you're looking for where to get more money to create a better society, look at the people that have got all of the money. That's where the problem is. <laughs>